Hey, so yeah, I'm watching, just watching movies like crazy so I can do as many horror movie reviews for Halloween, so let's jump right in this one. I watched The Ghost from 1963, and I've had this for a while. I put it on like on the weekends, and then I'd get drunk, and I'd stop paying attention. I'd put it on a few times, and I just never watched it all the way through, so finally I did, and uh, it, it was good. I mean, the best part is it has Barbara Steele, and I was as I was as I was watching it, I was like, she's the best part. This is why I'm watching it because of her. The story was good. It had a good atmosphere, creepy castle, small cast, uh, a mystery. It, it's more like it could have been like an episode of Tales from the Crypt or uh, Monsters, Twilight Zone, maybe. You see the real gothic horror. But uh, yeah, Barbara Steele is like I mean, she's why I bought it, you know, because I, I first saw her, you know, like a lot of people in in the Black Sabbath, no Black Sunday, Black Sunday, and as a yeah, as a man, she really has a unique look, uh, just her, her huge eyes. But the only thing, uh, it, it's, it's set in Scotland, okay. It's like her husband, he's in a wheelchair, he's dying, but they're doing this process where he's getting better, but really she wants him to die so she can take his money and run away with the doctor that's taking care of him. And they do kill him, and then his ghost, you know, it's called the ghost, so his ghost is haunting her and like driving her crazy. It's pretty basic stuff, but it's, you know, like, the whole time was okay, it, I just, I don't think it's supernatural, and yeah, there's really nothing supernatural about it, so that kind of was a letdown for me. I was hoping you know, there would be supernatural stuff going on in it, but I, you know, I knew it wasn't. I was hoping it would, but uh, Barbara Steele is great. Uh, I think I would, I would watch this again just to see her on the screen. She goes crazy, kind of, and she's screaming, and makes all these different faces, so just, yeah, I really like her, so I'll watch this again, but I have uh, some other collections with, like, She-Beast, and I can't remember, there's one other one, the Terror Creatures in the Grave with her, so I think I'll watch those, I don't know if I'll review them, I don't think I'll, maybe I'll review them, but the Ghost, uh, yeah, if you're a huge Barbara Steele fan, I think you watch on YouTube, now. I don't know, I didn't check. Uh, see, I got a bootleg copy. It was, it was pretty good. The copy was pretty good. But I would give it, like, just a 3 out of 5 hands of fate. Just because just of Barbara. There's one, like, brutal kill in it. It wasn't that bad, but for, like, the 60s, it, it was pretty brutal. So, yeah, that's the ghost. Not the greatest. And it really wasn't... I guess it's more just like a mystery thriller because there's no supernatural stuff in it. So that's about it. That's what I watched. Uh, glad I watched it because I've had it for a while and I just never put it on and sat through it and watched it. And I finally did. And yeah, uh, just. She's got some crazy hair. I think it's a wig she's wearing. Other than that, yeah, check it out for Barbara Still. Let me get on to the next one.